Hi, I'm Bruno Guerra, and as a preparation for the next Dev Talks about the document service, I just wanted to give you a hands-on example how to use the document service here in real code by creating a separate application. So uh, we start first our Eclipse and create a dynamic web project. So I click New Dynamic Web Project, we will call it My Docs, select the right Nativa Cloud version here and creating now a package first for our helpers so com.sub.mydocs.doc.helper and we'll create a new class in here called CMIS helper and the code we get from the blog I've written about the document service so you scroll down until the code of the CMIS helper class you select all the code, you go down, go down, right-click, copy, then you paste it into the class here. We save it, and we have an error. Let's see. Oh, some um, libraries are missing. You scroll up, you will get two links to the libraries we'll need. Just click on them, unzip them, and here for the file upload, select under lib, comments file load, uh, file upload library, copy and paste it into web content, web inf, uh, lib, and we do the same also for the Apache Commons IO library, saving again, unzipping, and select there the corresponding uh, jar file here, Commons IO jar, and again paste it. So we have the two libraries here, but we still have errors in our CMS helper class, as we see here. Let's scroll down. Oh, we need a mydocs DTO. So another class that we need to create. New class, we call it mydocs DTO. And the code for that is also in my blog. So we just switch over, select the code for this class, right click, copy. We paste it again here to the mydocs Java. mydocs DTO Java. We save it. And the errors are gone. So next thing, we will create a, uh, a servlet. For that, we create first a package for the servlet. Now the servlet itself, we call, we'll call it just hello world. Here it is, hello world. Click on finish. And uh, again, we will need the code from the block here. We just copy all the code except the package because the package is a little bit different here. Copy, we select again our Java code, we right click, we paste it, and that's it. We're done. So, oh no, we need to organize the imports first, source, organize imports. Okay, all errors are gone. So, we just go ahead and run this on our local host on .NET and your clouds. Clicking on finish. Okay, now the war file should be deployed. Yeah, there it is. We type in the link of this application, <gasps> an error. Okay, we forgot something. So, uh, as it says here, we need in the WebXML file a separate section for the ECM service. So we open it here, paste it, we save it. And as we see here, if we want to run it on a local host, we also need to install the MongoDB locally. If you want to run it locally, so I already did that, of course, before. So meaning that I just start the MongoDB server here on my machine and I start it it says waiting for connections so this is up and running so what we need to do now is to republish uh, our changes from the WebXML here so right click publish we go back again to our application we reload the page and now voila there it is yeah, we click now on browse Select a file, click on Upload File, and there it is. So this worked pretty well now. Um, in case you want to see the server logs, go in here, click on the server, and you will also server log, and you will so see also the log files. And for anything else, just go to the developer.sap.com/cloud page for more information. Thanks.